So here we have the Ford Fiesta EcoBoost ST line on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a three door car with black alloy wheels and the black door mirrors and roof to match. We'll start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got reversing sensors as well as plenty of boot space and that 60-40 split folding rear seats as well. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through those controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of the car you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around looks really good in red as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, the trim has got this kind of red stitching and uh, red sections around the outside to again match the exterior of the car. There's plenty to run through in this car in terms of dashboard controls, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right hand side, the speedometer. We have the fuel gauge in the middle at the bottom, and then above that you can see the total miles on this car are 3,526. The information that's displayed there can be changed by pushing a button on the end of the uh, indicator stalk for various different pieces of information, including, as you can see, uh, average miles per gallon, uh, all the way back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side we have stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone, so hit that button. Ask it to dial in one of your contacts list and it can do that for you without you taking your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you paired up the phone and that is done on the central screen and stereo area just here. So hit phone and then follow the instructions that will come up on screen. But before we come back to the phone, uh, I just wanted to talk about the radio. So you can see this car's got FM radio. It also has DAB digital radio and AM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, we have a CD player at the top of that unit. But on top of that, we also have USB input, as you can see just there, and you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you pair up your phone, not only can you make or receive phone calls, but you'll be able to listen to your music as well. This car also has satellite navigation. There's a full video showing that working on our website uh, and our Facebook page, which is well worth checking out. Below that, we have the air conditioning for the car. So fan speed is adjustable here, temperature, and then the direction of the air. Once you're happy with those settings, that button will turn the air conditioning on. It's on at the moment, for example, and then off. And that button will recirculate the air that's currently in the car, which is a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you set. And then underneath that, we have this button. Uh, this car's designed to cut out in traffic when you're stationary, uh, which will save you fuel in the long run. Uh, if you'd rather turn that system off, you just hit that button. When that light is on, the system is turned off. We then have a five-speed manual gearbox, 12-volt charging socket, and the USB input that I mentioned a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.